As we all know, farming is a rather essential part of society, doing its best to keep the world fed. Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo, where today we'll be looking at some great agricultural technology, covering everything from weeders to harvester. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more like it. First up, we have the Harvey One. It is a self-propelled harvester designed for a variety of root crops, such as potatoes, onions, carrots, and more. The working width of this machine is 75 meters, and its loading capacity is 1,000 kilograms. Thanks to its crawler tracks, the machine leaves minimal impact on the soil. Its sieve belt and dam drum can be adapted for harvesting a wide variety of crops. The 41 horsepower engine ensures precise setting of all main functions via a fully hydraulic drive. The new pickup technology ensures reliable and gentle digging. Dam drums and coulter discs are designed for safe infeed. Moreover, a camera-based lane departure warning system has been incorporated so workers can concentrate on the harvest. Also, the sensor-based control automatically adjusts the blade flaps and intake to the right height. Next, we have the Grime GT170. This is a windrower, which cuts the potato plants, cleans them, and places the tubers in a windrow for later collection. Its 5.3-meter cross conveyor gently conveys the crop across two rows and deposits it in the middle of the following two rows. This enables the lifting of up to 8 by 36-inch rows without having to move the crop twice. The offside wheels stay still, while the conveyor hydraulically traverses to discharge left or right. Each end of the conveyor is equipped with a hydraulic ram that allows the tip end to be lowered to minimize drop heights. The conveyor can hydraulically fold each end 90 degrees to reduce its width to 3 meters for shipment. Up uh, next, we have the mechanical weeding machine from Christian's Agro Systems. This machine was designed for weeding between plants along the rows. It is suitable for a variety of plants, including leeks, beets, and carrots. It is excellent for weeding in the direction of the rows between the plants. This is made possible by a driven axle with a spring-loaded pin. The pins are driven through the soil to remove weeds, which ensures minimal harm to the crop plants. All weeds that get looser as the plant grows can be eliminated. Depending on how far apart the rows are, the machine can have from 1 to 9 rows. Next, we have the Lasol Tile Plow. This unique plow system has been made for 200 or higher horsepower tractors. It allows easy installation of drainage pipes under agricultural land. The plow can dig and lay the drainage tubes 72 inches deeper. The booth roller unit is made of 4-inch drain pipes. The plowing system comes standard with certain protection valves. The valve connected to the top cylinders triggers the tile boot roller unit backward if the unit hits a large obstacle. The second valve is connected to the central cylinder, which prevents the tile boot roller unit from pushing downward. Moreover, the unit is attached to the hydraulic three-point attachment system and the tractor drawbar, which reduces the stress on the hydraulics, especially the top link.
Next, we have the LaSalle Super Blade. It is a 2-in-1 machine that works as a laser-slash-GPS leveler as well as a finishing tool. Each arm is attached to the hitch with a pintle hook or ring coupling. The tractor's three-point linkage system lets the operator raise or lower the hitch to adjust the unit's angle for leveling. When it is fully loaded, the operator lifts his three-point hydraulic hitch rather than using the laser and GPS's manual method. Two synchronized cylinders coupled to the laser-slash-GPS remote valve on the tractor control the support wheels. A second remote hydraulic valve controls the right cylinder directly to allow for level adjustments. Up next, we have the John Deere 948L-2. It is a 22-ton skidder with a 22.3 square foot grapple capacity and a 300 horsepower engine with 1,369 newton meters of torque. For years, R&R Swamp Logging, a family-owned business, has relied on these skidders for forestry operations in marshy regions. Operators are less likely to lose a log even if a load is jostled, since the squeezing force of the grapple is consistent. This skitter has proven its resilience by traversing swampland for over 6,000 hours without changing a single hydraulic line. The new steering sensors regulate articulation speed when frame-to-frame -frame contact is imminent, softening impact during complete articulation and improving operator comfort. The user-friendly CVT gearbox automatically detects the load and adjusts torque and tractive effort to maintain the appropriate speed. Next, we have the L341R from John Deere. It is a baling machine that produces large, highly compressed square bales. The 18-inch longer bale chamber, extra cylinders on each side, and reinforced side hoops generate 30% heavier bales. The low-profile pickup drum has a large diameter roller baffle to efficiently pick up crops from the field. The roller baffle compresses crops against the pickup times, resulting in more crop in the bale and less leaves and crop in the field. The semi-pneumatic gauge wheels offer protection for the pickup and smooth ground measurement across rough terrain. Furthermore, the bale documentation technology analyzes real-time bale weights and moisture, yield patterns, and nutrient replenishment cutting after cutting. Next, we have the Fencer Pro. This hydraulic wire dispensing machine was designed for professional contractors. It has a loading mechanism that can hold a 500 meter long and 2.5 meter high net roll. The hydraulic top link keeps the net tight from top to bottom. The barbed wire dispenser can also be adjusted with a hydraulic valve. Also, hydraulic side shifting moves the net away from the side of the tractor when dispensing and close to the fence. When working on a bank side, the hydraulic tilt on the clamp puts the net in a vertical position so it can be tied off. The clamp can move up and down hydraulically to lower the net to the ground so it can be tied off. It comes with a hydraulic clamp that won't slip and can tighten nets up to 500 meters long in one go. The machine has three clamps of different heights that attach to it with a quick hitch system.
Uh, next, we have the Envo Dan Ether. This is an innovative solution designed to remove weeds by burning them. It combines enough air and gas to throw fire with pressure against the surrounding wind. The hood design keeps the fire from spreading to the well-developed crops and directs it to the germinating weeds. The in-row burner also emits heat through the sides. These units are tailored to specific applications and customer requirements. Next, we have the 2300 Bushel Hallmaster. It is a large grain cart that can be used with a high capacity oat and canola harvester. It offers 13% more capacity per load and extra surge capacity in other crop types. It includes the Powermaster Direct Drive Transmission, which improves driveline efficiency by eliminating the need for belts, drivetrains, and a lower sump. Large windows for the front and rear of the cart are available for exceptional see-through visibility. It comes in five different colors with optional left-hand or right-hand auger discharge. Moreover, it can be equipped with a tracked undercarriage that reduces ground impact and improves traction. Up next, we have the autonomous bale mover from Vermeer. It drives autonomously across the field and detects bales using its onboard sensors, picks them up, and transports them to a preset position specified by the owner. The machine can pick up and transport up to three five-foot bales. By transporting bales from where they are dumped in the field to the storage facility, this autonomous bale mover will expedite the collecting process and minimize the need for manpower. John Deere is a worldwide leader in the production of agricultural machinery. The 1890 air planter with the 1910 cart from John Deere provides precise seating when combined. The cart is intended for large-scale agricultural activities and has three distinct compartments. The John Deere 1890 air planter, on the other hand, is used for planting crops and fields. It is intended particularly for no-till farming a technique of planting crops without disturbing the soil in order to decrease soil erosion and retain its natural structure. Up next, we have the Spudnik 7-Row Planter. It is designed to efficiently plant 7 rows of crops at once. It is commonly used by farmers and large-scale agricultural operations to plant crops such as potatoes, onions, and other root vegetables. The planter has a large hopper that can hold a significant amount of seed or fertilizer, which allows for more efficient planting. It can plant crops with precision, ensuring that the spacing between each row and each plant is consistent. The planter can be adjusted to plant crops at different row widths, which allows farmers to customize their planting to match their specific crop and field conditions.
last but not least, we have the Sputnik 16 row harvesting system. Taylor Farms, situated in the United States, created by combining eight six row windrowers and four four row harvesters. Together, the equipment can cultivate 400 to 450 acres per day. The large scale operations increase productivity and decrease operating costs, since fewer tractors and operators are required than with conventional techniques. In addition, it lowers bruising owing to the increased capacity of the machines and the decreased number of machines used. Well, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed learning about these great machines. Don't worry, we've got plenty of more machines that you can learn about. Just click here. And with that, we'll see you next time.